I have been fascinated with handwriting analysis for many, many years. I can look at any of your handwriting, and you're going to look at your own hand handwriting right now on the spot, and I can evaluate and understand your personality by the strokes and the formations in your handwriting. Now, it sounds a little bit crazy, but it's actually a science. What we're going to talk about today, are you the type of person who sets high goals? And even if you don't have this in the way that we're going to show it, that's okay because most people don't. And we're going to show you how to change that letter so that you can raise your confidence as a leader. Want to see what that is? It's the letter T, the small T. Now, if this is the, this is the stem, okay? So we're going to look at the line. Now, look at how you cross it. How you cross with that bar. Everyone look at your, the way you cross the bar on your small T's. Okay, Ariel, look how you small your cross T's. Now, okay, now move. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, thank you. So, you can see right here. Yeah. Now I'm going to do this on the spot, and I'm going to show you three types of T's. And every one of you will have one of them, and I'm going to show you what it means. And is this accurate? Yeah, it's about 95% accurate. Here's what it is. Now, see, we have the T here. Now, if you, like many people, cross your T's in the middle area, this is called a practical T bar. That means that you're thinking about, I have a test in math class uh, tomorrow. Uh, I love this seminar, but I really have to prepare for that. You are thinking day to day. You're not thinking down the road. You're practical, day to day, in terms of how you prepare for your goals. You're thinking about a week in advance at the most. Now, let's look at our friend here. Is he a practical goal setter? Yes, he's so outgoing, he's so charismatic. That's one part of his personality. But in terms of his goal setting, now this is only one sample. This is called the practical goal setter. And that's important for success. Do you know why? Because sometimes if you think so far in, the, in advance, you don't get done the day-to-day -day activities that you need to do. And for those of you who are business, in, interested in business, or any type of way where you lead, you need to think about what the organization needs tomorrow as well. Now, if your T is a little lower, do you know what that means? It means you're too hard on yourself. Give yourself a break. And you know what? So often with many of you that I teach, and I've seen student activities, here's what you do. What happens to you is this, someone says no, or you make a mistake, and today is about being willing to make mistakes, and what do you do? You say, I can't do this, I can't do this, and that is what you need to stop. So if you have lower T's, which many of you will, some of the most successful people I know who come across so confident, confident like this, they have low T bars. Here's what you can do in the next 21 days, and this will change the neurons in your brain, literally, because handwriting analysis is also called brain writing. It will change the neurotransmitters in your brain, and over 21 days, you will start feeling more confident. As crazy as that sounds, it's true. So, if you have those little T bars, next time you're taking notes in class, remind yourself to raise your T bars high. That's simple, across this way. So, we want to go move forward. We don't want to move back because that's what procrastinators do. So, raise your T-bars if you happen to have high T-bars. And as teenagers, most of us don't. But if you do, or if you aspire to be a leader, a real leader, that's the visionary T. Do you know who had that T? Nelson Mandela, Abraham Lincoln, Einstein. I mean, that's pretty high to set. But that is what we all can aim for. 